dystopian times. I don't know about you all, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Dennis Prager. I think that he is incredibly entertaining. And when I when I listen to his podcast, I always feel like really inspired and invigorated and don't ever feel the urge to fall asleep. This week, he is going to make a pretty bold claim for him. Uh, and he's going to assert that he's actually smarter than doctors. He knows more than doctors when it comes to COVID-19. So, folks, this is our weekly dose of stupidity. In a world of politics dominated by the strange, the deranged, and outright insane, we'll now take a moment to shine a light on the craziest of what politics has to offer. This is your weekly dose of stupidity. Okay, so this is the hottest take of 2021 by far, folks. Dennis Prager uh, speaking to his expertise as it comes to COVID-19. Why should doctors be any better than lawyers or professors or any other group that has disgraced itself in American life? There's no reason. Doctors have the same degree of wisdom as gender studies professors. I'm just going to pause for a moment and say, um, press X to doubt, but we'll continue. And by the way, DP stands for Dennis Prager, in case people didn't know. Um, Does it? <laughs> the issue isn't medical knowledge. The issue is wisdom and courage. They're all so let me, let, me just, let me ask the panel something. Uh, if you have to have open heart surgery, would you want someone who had uh, 12 years of experience and, and training or somebody with uh, wisdom? as it relates to life. Mm. I want them to Dennis tell Prager. me a nice, I want them to tell me a nice story about a frog in the river as they tear my heart out with like a pizza cutter. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just like, I don't usually focus on, on things like this, but pay attention to the delivery. There is about like at least two different portions of this video where it seems like he's going to put himself to sleep. And this is the only right winger who does this? Like, I feel like all the other right wingers are at least animated to an extent, but Dennis Prager is like putting himself to sleep. And this is so bizarre. Many of doctors who have it read about the Great Barrington Declaration from Great Barrington, what is it, uh, Vermont or New Hampshire? Oh, is it Massachusetts? This is invigorating. He's not sure. <laughs> he is checking. That's the good news. Bad news is it doesn't happen instantaneously yeah. speak of an asmr massachusetts <laughs> how many people know about that how many doctors signed that was it a thousand is he More okay than a thousand doctors signed that <laughs> ask your doctor if he even uh. knows about it your doctor knows nothing about covid <laughs> nothing all they know is how the virus works that's all they know that's it that's is most of it. Thing yeah, right. that listening to this show, a non-doctor, you have learned. Hey, can we pause it for a second? More yes, about... yes. Could you imagine being like, he doesn't know anything about cancer. He just knows how it progresses, how it grows, how you can get it. Like, what, what do you? Yes, he knows. They know basically. Yes, that is what you need to know about COVID is how it progresses. Yes. Uh, it's a contradiction, like within five seconds. Like he immediately says that after after saying that they don't know nothing and i just gotta point out like we all have our off days right we're all on camera personalities <laughs> but oh my god like he he doesn't want to be there like he he's dreading dreading speaking and like as the uh the dude like his jamie looks up uh information about this you could just tell he's like you know what fuck it just keep the b-roll on for a while i'm gonna like get some sleep it, it's so like, this is so bizarre who washes this shit I mean, does holy he shit. This, does he run this show at nighttime? Like, is this supposed to be something people just like put on and they, they fall asleep? I, I mean, you would think, right? Because I, I just, I don't, I, I, I just, I'm perplexed by it. I, I just don't get it. And every time I watch a clip of this show and not like the regular Prager U videos, I, I just don't understand it. Like, someone who's 80 years old and has, you know, drank the Kool-Aid, they're not going to enjoy this. Even if they agree with everything he's saying, the delivery is so painful. I just I can't understand why people would listen to them. And look, I hate Ben Shapiro, but he's far more entertaining to listen to than this fucking hack who has DP everywhere. Like, why? Get the DP away. Like, stop, Dennis. Jesus Christ. OK, so this is where he's going to talk about how he knows more about uh, about COVID. He's just some jagoff who does a podcast that knows more than uh, doctors to this show. 
of a non-doctor, you have learned more about COVID, more about masks than your doctor probably knows. Not only is it not a boast, it, it is totally meant to be an attack on the medical profession. I should not know 10 times more than your doctor about I, all of the issues with therapy. 10 times more. Can I just more? be honest? How, if there's any group that is stupid to declare war on, it's doctors. Because if they see they be like, if they see that you were saying that about doctors on the news and you and you roll into their office, I, if I was that, I'd roll them back out like that. <laughs> I just kick them out. They'd be like, oh, no insurance, done. Like, why would he? Out of all the groups to attack, why doctors and why now? It feels like like we were all kind of united. At least like we should support frontline staff. But does he think the doctors are just like I was told to put needle in arm and that's it? Like that's all they know? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't gotten the message that every person who participates in society uh, should have gotten by the age of like I don't know twelve. That uh, the two types of people who you don't fuck with, doctors and people who make your food. He sure. hasn't gotten the memo. But I mean like he he's very famous. I'm sure that doctors recognize him. So he's insulting them, pretending as if like they're, they're stupid and he knows more than them. But yet uh, he would absolutely beg for a doctor if he like ended up on a ventilator or, or needed to a ventilator. He'd go to a hospital if he has had COVID-19, assuming he's has he actually um, has he actually publicly said whether or not he got vaccinated? I don't know if he has. I, I'm going to assume by default he is anti-vax because he's a conservative, but I'm not sure, honestly. So I could be a little bit unfair here. You know, I, after after hearing him say that, I, I really just want to be at the point of it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Conservatives don't go to doctors. Like, y'all just <laughs> stop getting medical care altogether. Dennis Prager has solved all your problems. Everyone mm -hmm. go to Dennis Prager. <laughs> yeah, and and we're just we're just gonna let the problem work itself out at, over the span of a few years here. I mean, if you listen to this 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 thing that's talking there and you're taking his <laughs> advice over that of a medical professional, there's no hope for you. You're done. Like you yeah. can go ahead and just, you know, maybe, uh, well, you know, I've got to be careful what I say here, but uh, yeah, like there's just, there's no hope for you. There's no redemption arc for somebody that listens to dinner, pra Dennis Prager and uh, says, you know what? Yes. This, this sleepy man, knows more than the guy that went through eight years of training to become a doctor. Sure. No, if, if you're that person, just give up. It's over. Like you, you <laughs> peaked in life. You're better than all of us. You don't need to worry about medical care. The rest of us will still, you know, get it, but you don't need it. Trust me. You definitely don't need medical care. Right. Or, or I mean, he he doesn't realize like what he's inviting because he actually does take callers on this show. So like imagine if one of his fans who actually took him seriously called and was like, hey, Dennis, like I don't have anything to add about like the conversation here, but I do have this like bump under my left butt cheek and I just want to like describe it to you. Can I like this is what you're inviting on your show. And I kind of want to call him. We I'm not encouraging anyone to brigade. I, I, I'm not. I'm not personally encouraging that. In fact, I am discouraging you from calling into Dennis Prager's show and trolling him. Definitely don't do that. But if somebody did that, I think that it would be objectively hilarious. Hey, I, hey I if, am, if, if you have the phone number, you need to give that out just so people make sure they don't call it. Yes. Uh, to troll him. Yes, uh, whatever you do, do not call 877-243-7776 Monday through Friday at noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That, that is a number that you should avoid during those hours. I'm just, I just want to throw that out to you. Don't call and tell them about no, your butt Do not call that number. <laughs> yeah, they don't need to know about one of your swollen balls. Don't call that number, okay? I know that he's an expert. <laughs> I'm sure he can cure you with. I'm sure if you have cancer or like a terrible degenerative disease, Dennis Prager can cure you with whatever, whatever the hell he has in his medicine cabinet. Just throw Just, some horse paste yes. on it or something. Exactly. Horse paste, yeah. And some thoughts and prayers. Always sprinkle yep. a little bit of, you know, thoughts and prayers on it. Okay. So we're almost towards the end. Uh, does anyone want to take bets? Um, if you haven't pre watched this, does he make it to the end without falling asleep? <laughs> Put fifty no on against it, that. I think I think he'll pass out and slide out of his chair, cartoon style. It's kind of hard to say, right? Um, and, and by the way, uh, thank you, Mr. Anderson. That's uh, eight seven seven two four three seven 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 six. Don't call this number, please. Nope. Do not tell Dennis nope. Prager, DP, about you know a potential medical injury that you encountered from 
uh, DP, you know, uh, drunkenly playing on like a playground. Yes, do not. I do don't that. need to keep this PG, but I'm just trying to be respectful, okay? Just in case my mom's watching. Um, okay, so we'll finish off this video here. And if your doctor thinks ivermectin is dangerous, change your doctor. <laughs> and I mean it. Might be a nice guy. Go golfing with him or her. He's but progressive. Let's check out another doctor. Yeah. So I mean, you heard it here, wait, folks. Wait, from to Dr. be fair. Dennis. He never said, he never clarified if he was talking to his horse or non-horse viewers when he gave that. So we got to give him the benefit of the doubt um, here. That is true. That is true. I feel like we're being too uncharitable, so I'm glad that you pointed that out because, uh, yeah, Whew. I feel like I've lost um, more IQ points from that you know, two-minute video than anything else I talked about throughout the week. But it, it's just, I, I think the addition of him like nearly falling asleep <laughs> is what just adds to it. Ah, okay, folks. So wait, I have, I have, wait, I have one gift Easter egg for you that I prepared about Dennis Prager. Okay, I don't I know if you know about. This. Do you know about his article from two thousand eight when a woman isn't in the mood? Have you ever heard about this? I have not heard of any discussions so, with Dennis Prager and sex. This is a multi-part series that he produced where he describes in detail about why when a woman isn't in the mood they should still sleep with their husband. So he made a multi-part series of essays and published them, which are still publicly available on his website, where he tries to convince people to basically, if they don't want to sleep with them, you should still sleep with them. What? what? Wait, maybe, he's married, maybe right? His wife would be in the mood more often if he uh, you know, wasn't busy writing articles about why you should just have sex with me anyway. You know, may maybe try a little bit of romance there, Denny. You've got the nice, calm, soothing voice. Put on the berry white, light the candles, and just say, darling, I know it's been a while, but uh... oh, shit, he's already out. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess he, he's an expert in women who don't want to have sex with him. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, that sounds like an open letter to his wife. Um, that's that's weird. I, it, I, I it's don't really okay. bad. Yeah. He wrote that article for one person. <laughs> like, here's, just, here's just the one line. Here's the opening line. It is the axiom of contemporary marital life that if a wife is not in a mood, she need not have sex with her husband. Here are some arguments why a woman who loves her husband might want to rethink this axiom. I mean, it really is just that Jesus for the entire Christ. article. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we we know it's implied there what the issue is with uh, with Dennis Prager, um, what's missing in his life, uh, and the issues between him and his wife. I feel like we could be counseling Dennis Prager based on the information that we have in this short segment, right? <laughs> I, uh, look, I just I hope both... he gets better game, man. I think, look, nobody deserves deserves not to have game, and I hope he gets better. I, I wish him the best. Well, he's uh, so he's on his third wife now. So the question, and they were married in 2008. Um, I already now know way more about Dennis Prager than I ever should. This is horrible. <laughs> so I'm just wondering. So you said these articles came out in 08. And uh, got December 23rd, 2008 was the first of this multi part series. Oh, damn. Okay. So these must be about Susan then. Uh, Susan uh. is the most recent wife, although it could be Francine. She was the second, or maybe. Maybe it was Janice. I don't know, but Susan, Janice, Francine, uh, my sincerest, <laughs> sincerest condolences to all three of you. Um, I don't know which one of you was never in the mood, probably all of you, but uh, yeah, you know, solidarity on that because yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Here, here's one. Here's here's what I'll wrap up this by talking of this article. I just bring it up anytime he comes up because this this shit's hilarious. Here's his argument that men are animals, so just give them sex. <clears throat> Number two, if this is true, men really are animals. Correct. Compared to most women's sexual nature, men's sexual nature is far closer to that of animals. So what? That is the way he is made. Blame God and nature. Telling your husband to control it is a fine idea, but he already does. Every man who is sexually faithful to his wife already engages in daily heroic self-control. He has married him. <laughs> he has married, knowing he will have to deny his sexual nature's desires for variety for the, re for <laughs> the rest of his life. 
to ask that he also regularly deny himself sex with the one woman in the world with whom he is permitted sex is asking far too much. Deny him enough times, and he may try to feel this need with another woman. He, If he is too moral to ever do that, he will match your sexual withdrawal with emotional and other forms of withdrawal. He's talking about sex like it's heroin. What? Holy <laughs> shit. I never needed to know or wanted to know that Dennis Prager was this goddamn yeah. horny all the time. <laughs> Imagine like the conversations that he has with his wife. Like, honey, I haven't asked for sex in two days. Some are calling me a hero for that. But I mean, <laughs> like, what? I, mean it, it, I also have to wonder too, you know, were they sitting down at dinner and he's like, so uh, <clears throat> did you read my article today? <laughs> <laughs> it's multi part. She, <laughs> she's like, you know. Series. She's like twisting her spaghetti. She's like, so saw the article that you wrote. <laughs> you didn't bring it up. <laughs> I am so disturbed after uh, th this segment. Um, I didn't expect us to go down this path, but wow. Oh, thank you, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm saying is do not call Dennis Prager at 877-243-7776 live Monday through Friday at noon from 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and bring up this article in perpetuity, okay? Do not do that. He would be very embarrassed. Yes, please. Let's, let's be respectful and not call that number uh, all at once, too. And just, you know, don't bombard him with call after call about the mole that you have on your your dick i don't know uh 